Good morning. Mm. Welcome to this vlog. What are we doing today? Welcome to our Sunday fun day. Mm -hmm. We're about to go get coffee. Eggs. Eggs. Make some breakfast. Maybe food for me. <laughs> <laughs> we sound sleepy to do mm -hmm. coffee yet. Take some pics for me. Let's go get a coffee. So happy my photographer is back in town. Uh -huh. anyway. <laughs> He's getting put to work. Oh yeah, this is Max's off day. I go off day. <laughs> Brody, we're coming. Um, it's his off day, so he came here pretty much to get his car, but he's on the job. On while the he's job. Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. To you with the coffee company. It's packed. Mm. <laughs> I guess it's a Sunday, so <laughs> we do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys, everyone loves Brody in there. And it's funny because he, I think he used to be better behaved in there, and now he's freaking out the whole time because they have a big thing of treats. And they give him treats and he knows the treats are coming. So he's like <laughs> the whole time and I'm like, Brody, relax. But they're so nice to him in there, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to tell them um, about <laughs> the smiley face thing. I'm gonna try, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna try to make it quick. Um, but it's kind of like, a, like not a long story. Long story short. I'm sure you'll find a way to make it a long story. <laughs> I'm so mean. Is that passive aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it quick. Long story short, the other week, Max had gotten an acai bowl. I think you had it like pregame or something, but yeah. I had gotten home and you were already gone, like at the game. And the leftover of the acai bowl is in the fridge, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna eat that before the game. So I'm like eating some of his leftover acai which bowl. I, which I mobile ordered, by the way. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know. And on the top of the acai bowl, it's like a plastic top. There's a no. I see, I'm like, hmm. That's suspicious. And it was because of what it said. It was like a Sharpie note and it said from your favorite bolista with like a big, it wasn't a smiley face. It was like a wink smiley face. I'm like, uh, mm. it was a wink. It was like a smiley, but like one of the it eyes was like a. smiley and it's smudged. Yeah, okay, this is even more suspicious. It was a wink smiley face. I'm like, okay, that's so weird. And well, this is gonna make it long, but backstory. The acai bowl place in Allentown, one of the workers there did have a crush on all the hockey players and would like make it very apparent and like would right now, whatever. So I'm already triggered by the acai bowl place. <laughs> Remember? Uh-huh. And she like wouldn't like address like my friend, like one of his teammates' wives, like she wouldn't even look at her, she'd just look at the husband and like only talk to him, whatever. Not a girl's girl. So I'm like, okay, here we go, acai bowl place again. And it's just funny because later Max was like, I think they write that on everyone's. Like I literally mobile ordered and I didn't even, whatever. So it's just funny. Um, but then it was funny because obviously your phone listens to and TikTok, I'm gonna link this TikTok in the description because you guys have to watch if you haven't seen it. It's funny. It's a priest and long story short, he gets a coffee from Starbucks, but he mobile orders from his wife's account and there's like a smiley face or a, a heart, a heart mm -hmm. on his coffee. And he's like, you might think like, how cute is this? How sweet? Um, they definitely thought it was for my wife because it's a girl's name probably would make her day right But I get home or she gets in the car and has tons of questions for me And it's just really funny because mm -hmm. all the comments are like even a priest is guilty <laughs> or like, whatever um, And so now so something that you think yeah. was a nice gesture is not <laughs> yeah He was just like being really funny how he was talking about it So then we just get our coffees this morning <laughs> and there's smiley faces and Max is like oh who wrote that? <laughs> yeah, I got their pecan autumn latte. And it's so good, you guys know I always do my iced vanilla latte, but they have like fun seasonal ones in there and this one's so good. I recommend if you live here. And Max got just a cold brew with all my milk. Boring. And a bacon, egg and cheese. Mm -hmm. And a chocolate milk. Oh yeah, chocolate milk was gone in the wine. <laughs> Sunday fun day. We're doing it all. We're doing the monochrome look. That's what's up. Okay, time for picks. <laughs> Your favorite. Now, 
and I have some updates for you guys. I've been so excited to show you. If you saw at the end of my last vlog, like literally late last night, it was so dark, I was dark in here. Max and I decided to build our bed frame, but I didn't really get to show you the whole thing because again, it was like so dark. So I'm gonna give you a full overview of our pretty much almost finished bedroom for the soccer season and especially the beds nightstands lamps everything like that is good the only thing we have to do now which we'll probably get started soon because i think it's gonna take us a while is assemble our dresser which we have been putting off because building a dresser is difficult but look at this ah, i'm so excited here is the final reveal Woo! uh okay so basically <laughs> i measured just barely like the nightstands literally like touch our bed frame and you can literally just barely open the door and it like almost hits the nightstand it's like a centimeter away but it works it's perfect it's cozy and a bed frame makes all the difference like i said we built this last night so it was our first night sleeping in our new bed frame and i finally just feel like put together and cozy also we bought these lamps yesterday at target also just pulled the room together it makes me feel so cute and I actually picked out these like plain white ones, plain white shades, and Max was like, why don't we do like the wicker ones? It's so fun, it's so Cape Cod when we bring them back to the Cape, we'll use them. I'm like, you know what, you're right. So Max has such a good taste, shout out Max. He was like, I picked these out, I'm so proud, they look so good, and they really do, and it's just so cozy. So yeah, Target, nightstands, Target, bed frame we built from Wayfair. It's a little more challenging than we thought, but not too bad. And rug is Rugs USA. If you guys remember, love this rug. We have it at our house in the Cape. Um, and it's our favorite, so we got it over in here. It's just so cozy. And this bedroom, this bed is like my cozy, safe place now. I'm just like so happy. It's so zen and comfy in here. Obviously, the pitch ceiling is kind of hard. Of course, this is Max's side. He has to like crawl around the side or like roll over <laughs> and you like hit your head. Um, but we did the best we could with the space and I'm loving it so much. So yes, I'm feeling better. Clearly, Brody likes it, very comfy. We got our Helix mattress and I think I said in that video, the combo of a Helix Sleep mattress and Brook Linen sheets, mwah, chef's kisses. Like literally the best combo. Actually, it's too comfortable. I cannot wake up in the morning this morning. Max, like, I was in a daze. I was like, whoa. Because <laughs> we've been in the hotel in New Jersey and I just sleep so well in my bed. There's nothing like it. Clearly, Brody does too. Literally can't wake up. So, this is a perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Brooklinen, for working with me on this video. You guys know I've had Brooklinen sheets for years now. They're honestly the only sheets I buy and sleep in because they are the most comfortable. They're so luxurious and really really high quality so they're like literally the only sheets i recommend to anyone specifically the Lux hardcore bundle is what i get every single time because it comes with their sheet set an extra set of pillowcases in the duvet cover and it's just like a really buttery soft their Lux sateen fabric i know is their like best selling like iconic sheet set again that's what i recommend to everyone i think all my friends and like you guys in my dms Always texting me, messaging me, being like, wait, what is the style you get again? The Lux Sateen Hardcore Bundle. You'll save 25% with a Hardcore Bundle as well. Um, because, like, all bundled together, they just make it a little cheaper than buying each thing separately. And I always do the classic white. Because I just love, like, an all-white bedding look. But they have, like, over 20 different colors and patterns to choose from. Like, seasonal colors as well for the fall and winter. So whether you want to stick with something a little more classic, like an all-white look like I prefer... Or try out their limited edition seasonal colors changing up your bedding is such a nice way to refresh your bedroom welcome the colder months cozy up and honestly it's like such a form of self-care fresh new cozy warm sheets on your bed like nothing feels better I just feel so zen I like curl up in bed at night with Brody and my matching PJ set and I'm good to go so yes you guys know my environment is so important to me and being really zen and cozy so Brooklyn and sheets are like my non-negotiable and right now I know Brooklyn is having their biggest sale of the year you guys so I totally recommend it check them out if you've thought about it before this is the time, like I said, biggest sale of the year for Black Friday through November 29th. You'll get 20% off all Brooklyn and items. And I really recommend the hardcore bundle like I have because you can stack that bundle discount with the 20% off. And 
yeah, just now is the time. If you've thought about it, you don't even have to take my word for it since they have over 100,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any other bedding company. Definitely check them out. I love them so much and I'll have them linked down below. Again, 20% off through November 29th. Okay, now Brody and I are gonna like take a nap. Now I'm feeling cozy. Oh, this is what's dangerous. You don't wanna get up. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Brody and I actually did lay for a bit. Now, we're getting our dresser going. <laughs> also grabbed some curtains. We still need to hang right here. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Here we go, our last drawer. Sunday fun day, coming to a close. No, it just started. <laughs> Why isn't it stuck in the middle? Just gotta... It's this bottom one. Okay, I can't get we'll it reassess. Okay, if I measured right, ready, should be good. Flush. Well, not quite. Great. Great. Beautiful. Wonderful. Oh, wow. Okay, and you did such a good job, honey. I didn't even think about the fact that our lamps match, us. match like the rattan. I knew. And I measured you guys. It just barely fits in this little spot. I feel like what makes a lot more sense right here is a taller one. But I was having so much trouble on Wayfair finding a taller one that like fit this kind of dimension in the wall. And also it could be a little bit deeper, but again, this is just the one we found on Wayfair I can link. We literally built it in an hour and a half. I'm shook. I thought it was gonna take us like three hours. Got a little difficult at times, but we prevailed. Woohoo! <laughs> Already I'm thinking more things we need, like a gold mirror above this. I wish it was a little taller, like another row on top, but that's all right. Now we hang curtains. The projects never end. <laughs> I also need to run around with my steamer and steam all of them. You know? Uh. projects. Whew. Our afternoon of projects. We did it. Ooh. Now it's dark out. <laughs> I hate when it gets dark out at four. It's so depressing. Same. Okay, all you missed is we took Brody on a little walk. All ready for dinner now. Next to these huge boxes from our bedroom and our dresser. So don't mind that. Um, but I have been wanting to wear this new coat I got from Revolve. I haven't even worn it yet. And I was like, tonight's tonight since we're going to go on a little dinner date. We're going to go to Delmonico's, which I haven't been to the Delmonico's here in Utica. But I have been to the one in Albany where I'm from. Um, and it's really good. So I'm excited. I'm wearing leather pants. You can't really see black booties. This is like the earliest ever for us, I feel like. Yeah, but it feels it's like so that, dark right? out. I know. We just said we're having 6 p.m. supper. Early bird special. <laughs> and I'm honestly starving, so yeah. I'm so excited right now. Because we share lunch. Yeah, we did. Can't even show our food. I guess that's how you know. <laughs> we're having good convo. It was very tasty. Whoever beat this, coming home to a happy golden. It's the next morning, and Max left last night, and he's having this already. But we did have the best. Sunday fun day, we did a bunch. Sunday fun day, but also productive <laughs> building a dresser. Also, I feel like I've like barely filmed in this house. You probably don't even know where I am. Like the dining table is filled with things I have to put away. Just don't even look. 
my next vlog is going to be organizing a bunch because I really have not like organized and settled into this house, unpacked, anything like that. So we need like hours of like organizing in the bathroom, organizing the clothes in the closets. Like you would actually be terrified. There's a massive pile of clothes right there. They just haven't had anywhere to go because we had to build our dresser, etc., etc. Yeah, waiting on more hangers, whatever. So now I have no excuses and I need to do that today. But something I did for you guys last night, because last moment I think I vlogged was at dinner. I also didn't even show our food. Sorry, that's how you know you had a good time at dinner. We were just talking and our food, I feel like, came so quick and we ate quick and then I was like, oh, it's time to go. I did not even take my camera. Whoops. But we actually shared a steak, which was such a good idea because I feel like a lot of times at places like that, we'll get like, appetizers sides like they'll be like massive sides like massive entrees and then you're like so full and, like uncomfortable and you have leftovers and you don't have any of them we're like why don't we share a steak since we got a bunch of appetizers and like share sides and it was like perfect so yeah i feel like we have friends that do that like couples will always like share an entree and get appetizers and stuff and we've never done that because we both have big appetites but we may need to like start doing that anyway what was i going to say oh what i didn't show you last night that I was like, Max, one last project. I know you wanna like drive your four hours and get on the road, but we have something to do. Look at <laughs> Brody's like, my mother is nuts. Nuts, I tell you. Thank God I had him. Like being here alone, I would be literally so bored. I don't know, I would just be like lonely, you know? So, yes. Okay, this is the pile of clothes we need, but just don't even. -na -na -na. You can probably already see. Look what we did. <laughs> Move the couch out of here for Max. I have like Edna's projects, don't mind Brody's toys all over. Um, but I feel bad because we already moved the entire couch, put down this rug and moved it back because this rug is like totally fine and I like it and all. When we got here, that was there, but then I like this one more and it's just like more me, so then put this over top of that, put the rug back on top. But my new couch is coming Friday. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And so we moved the couch. I just left the autumn in case, in case I wanted to sit there and watch it. In case Brody could lay there for the next couple of days. But I was just like, I don't want there to not be a couch here for the next like four days until the couch comes. But I'm like, I literally can't move it by myself. So then Max and I moved the couch. Max is like, can I be done with the project? See ya. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait for you guys to see. It's gonna be so exciting. Don't mind a suitcase of mine I have not unpacked. It's gonna be so good when it gets in here. So, yes, that's the update. Lots of things happening. Okay, last thing. I was gonna end up this vlog, but this package literally just showed up. So let's open it because I'm so excited. Woo! I'm gonna calm down with the shopping. We all know a couple vlogs back, I was like unhinged going crazy, just like unwell. Um, but this, I actually am so excited. I love that you match my energy. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dog is literally my best friend. Okay, what am I saying? That, basically shout out my friend Maddie. She is like my influencer. Like I was telling her last time I was with her, I was like, like we all know that friend in our life that is like your own personal influencer. Like my mascara, I'm obsessed with, can't use another mascara, the Thrive Mascara by the way, is because of her, she put me onto that. So many little things, I think the Drunk Elephant tanning drops, she put me onto those, like literally all my holy girls are because of her, like she introduced me to them. So I'm very influenced by her because she's just adorable and has great taste and the makeup's always makeup in her outfits and yeah, last time I was with her Boston, she was bringing a hot pink sweater and I was like, mm, I need a hot pink sweater now. It looked so cute on her. And she's like, oh, I think it's like old from H&M. And I looked around and I couldn't find anything similar. Then, on Revolve, I saw this one and I was like, oh, this is literally it. This looks exactly like her sweater. <laughs> just need to copy Maddie completely. And I was like, oh my gosh. I feel like she was wearing it with like maybe black jeans, sneakers, or like booty or something. You can make this so cute with like leather pants, jacket. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed. Like something about colorful sweaters. If you guys saw when I got um already Princess Polly things, I got a blue sweater and it was so cute. I'm just so excited for like pops of color. That just makes me happy. So shout out my friend Maddie, you were the inspo for this. This isn't her exact one, but I can link this for you guys. Um I'm so excited. I cannot wait to wear this. This is literally adorable. Okay, this just like made my day. A little pop of color. 
we love. I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.